Whether you're 13 years old or 75 years old, you're welcome to attend Skipping Boat School. At this school, you build your very own kayak. I went paddling one day, a friend took me paddling, and I absolutely fell in love with the Ohio River and human-powered boats, and um, I decided that being a sculptor, that I wanted to make a boat. And I ran into my business partner, Dennis Pigeon, and he has been building boats for about 20 years. And I invited him to my shop uh, to build boats with several of our friends who also paddled, and it was a lot of fun. And at the end of it, we decided, why don't we start doing this for a living? I don't think there's another summer camp like this in the United States. There are a couple summer camps on, in the Northeast where kids will work on one boat, a sailboat, uh, and then maybe that sailboat is uh, auctioned off. But they don't, there isn't a camp where um, kids actually build an entire boat that they get to take home. teach 13 through 17 year olds to build their own kayak and they kind of leave feeling like the world's been demystified to a certain extent they know how things are made or they have some idea about what kinds of thoughts go into the making of everything they see and they also learn about process something that had previously seemed out of reach like building a boat to a 13 year old that they can do it if they go through each step through the hard parts, the fun parts, but at the end, there's a reward. It's a really powerful experience for them. I mean, they built it, and there aren't a lot of people who have, can say they built their own boat, and they, it somehow makes them feel special and competent and good at something. Adolescence have that sense of the whole world's looking at them and judging them to see whether or not they're okay. So when they put themselves in a situation where they're going to have to maybe use a drill for the first time, their fear is they're going to do it wrong. In experiential terms, they get to be kind of encouraged to walk through that process and find out that it's okay, they can drill that this process is very forgiving. I always tell them there isn't anything you can do to this boat that can't be fixed. And I said, and if, if something goes wrong, you learn how to fix it. So you've learned something extra. The moment they walk through the door, most of them have never built a boat. So I think that's pretty brave in and of itself because they're taking a risk and trying something new. And when they come in here, there are two uh, boards on sawhorses that are about 16 feet long, and they're just plain planks of wood. So that's what they start with, and we say, here's your boat. It takes about 60 hours total to build a kayak like this, and uh, um, there are no nails in the boat. They're, it's all pegged and lashed. The adults that come through here are varied. We have some women, school teachers, they have the summers off and so they take that time and do something like build a boat. Um, one school teacher took her boat back to school to show all the kids and talked about her experience. That's a cool teacher. There's something about paddling your own creation, you know, it, it's like uh, you could go to McDonald's or, you know, White Castle or something and get something to eat 
Or you could cook yourself a gourmet meal, yourself and your family or your friends. And that's a lot more special. Well, there's something a lot more special uh, about building your own boat, particularly a boat like this, which to a kayaker is the ultimate in tradition. This is a Greenland kayak. And this is what the Inuits or the Eskimos built and paddled of West Greenland. So uh, it's not only building your own kayak, but it's being part of the tradition. Sometimes we get people in here who are kind of in a spot in their life where they're searching for what the next thing is that they might want to be doing. And so boat building is kind of an appropriate metaphor for the voyage that they are wanting to take into maybe a different job or a different place. We also get a lot of graduates, high school graduates, and their parents will buy them a boat building class so that as a graduation present. And I think that's also appropriate because they are about to go off on a new journey, an adventure. I can barely put together Lego blocks, and yet I'm still coming up with something that at least is recognizable as a kayak. No, it's actually very well. So they're very patient and um, just uh, very easy to work with. And I am not a woodworker, and yet I'm uh, arriving at my destination of coming up with a handmade kayak. Every boat is unique, like people, and I just think all the boats are beautiful. Anybody that can listen to directions could do this and would enjoy doing it.